when I was a lad When it were really hard The things they've got to do The old days are gone But we had our fun In a good old-fashioned way I used to gun out court And then I'd buy me fishing chips I'd share them with a lass And then I'd kiss her ruby lips when I was alive, it wasn't really bad, in spite of what they said. Celebrated every year when Christmas time was here. Inflation wasn't invented, was a ton of pine for beer. When I was allowed, it wasn't really bad, in spite of what they said. Pine shop days, my poor old father had an indigo blue suit, indigo Monday road to come Friday. On New Year's Eve we didn't know just when we'd had enough. The lasses they all fancied me, I had to fight them off. Hey, when I was allowed, it wasn't really bad, in spite of what they said. Oh, mother, she used to say, I'll give father a treat, I'll get him a pair of kippers. She went to keep a card, pair of kippers, he says, I haven't got a pair, she said, oh, I'll give us two ones. He'll not now, and you know the way they used to burn him. Well, you learn as you made to mash me gravy with, hey, Miss Wife, Brown's wife. Mrs. Thompson, will you learn as you soap for a squeeze of me blue bag? Yeah, you can't forget them, dears. I'll never forget them, and I know. No, but getting back to reality, we're all in debt. We're running away from it. Brendan Foster gets gold medals for running. <laughs> gold medal for doing 10,000 metres. There's a man next door to us just getting two of you for doing two metres. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on a Friday, all the snow I had, January, February, and March. Never kept one knocker away from our door. Come on a sledge. <laughs> She'll answer the door to anybody. Knock at our door Thursday morning. Mr. Thompson in. And Swanky, come in, take a seat. He says, I'm coming in to take the lot. In mind if you only seen her when she's making your breakfast. You'd think she was building a wall. <laughs> she's got a hat and a Wilton's on. <laughs> hey, what do you want to find me, Ken? I said, I'll have a boiled egg. You can have a boiled egg, but there's no tin and no coffee because there's no water. I still don't know how she boiled that egg. Good job I didn't want it poached. <laughs> well, man, she says to me about a month before Christmas, she says, Bobby will save up. I says, well, speak for yourself. I won't need trouble. 
She says, I want you to go and do in the bank. I says, wait, gives it. So I went down the bank and he says, good morning. And I twitched my cup. I said, good morning. He says, what's your requirement in the minutes? I said, I want to join you. He says, you want a deposit? I said, aye. So I give him the 12 shilling. <laughs> and he gives us a little book with pages in. He says, now any time you want any money, just sign the bottom of the page. Oh, I says, champion. <laughs> so I went to him and I says to her, there's a couple of pages for you. <laughs> and I give the bands a page each, I said, because I'm not spiteful with me family. So she says to me on the Thursday, I want you to go down the bank. I says, give it. She says, no, we want some more pages. <laughs> so I went down the bank and the same man, he says, same good morning. Me, good morning. Do you want a deposit? I said, no, I want some more pages. <laughs> Let you know in the morning. Nasty letter. 642 pound overdrawn. I wrote back to him, I says, I didn't write to you when you had my money, ah. <laughs> Cause man, you're looking at a little lad now, if you can see it. I can tell you how to get debt without paying for it. Now, mind laughing? You'll take notice, little boy, when I've told you what to do. Listen, come here. You go out to Monday and get measured for a suit, or a coat, or a costume, or a two-piece. Maybe it's for 150 pounds, because you don't care what you spend when it's debt. <laughs> now they might want five pounds a week. Don't pay. Get a summons. County court, pound a month. <laughs> <laughs> It's astonishing, you know, when you get to back to reality, debt. Because we call it debt, see? Others call it credit. <laughs> Committee men's wives on account. Huh. Well, I'm in debt on account of not being able to pay me credit. And, uh, 